Hello, my name is Zainab Akci, and I'm a freshman student at Bill Kent University in Electrical Electronics Engineering Department. In this video, I will be presenting my Physics 102 lab project. As a short info, a capacitor consists of two conductor plates with some distance covered with an isolator between them, and they are widely used in electronics industry due to their electrical charge and energy storing abilities. There are several types of capacitors. In this video, I will use a parallel plate capacitor. Before moving on to the experiment, I would like to talk about the procedure of my experiment. It consists of two subparts. In part A, I investigated the effect of distance between parallel plates on the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor. I increased the distance from 1 cm to 5 cm, recorded and compared the data. And in part B, I investigated the effect of dielectric material put between parallel plates. I measured capacitance with air as dielectric material at first and then placed a bunch of paper and wood between the plates respectively. Finally, I calculated theoretical capacitance with the electric constants and compared them with the obtained results. After a brief introduction, let's move on to the experiment. The equipment is a multimeter, two crocodile cables, a ruler, the electric materials, two conductor parallel plates. Firstly, I'm calculating the theoretical capacitances by using this formula and recording them onto a table. Then I set the distance to one centimeter at first. In each step, I'm increasing the distance one more centimeter until I reach the five centimeter. Each time I measure and record the experimental capacitance with a multimeter. Once I obtain the data, I calculate averages for both experimental and theoretical capacitances and by using these numbers, I find the error percentage. In part B, I'm using different materials. Firstly, as base data, I take the capacitance value with a distance 2 cm that I obtained in part A. The dielectric is air in this case, and the dielectric constant of air is 1. In the second case, I put a bunch of paper between the plates. The distance is 1.5 cm, and the dielectric constant of paper is 3.6. I am calculating the theoretical capacitance and measuring the experimental capacitance with the multimeter and recording them onto a table. Lastly, I insert a wood between the parallel plates. The distance is 2 cm and the dielectric constant of wood is 4.4. Again, I'm cal calculating the theoretical capacitance and measuring the experimental capacitance with the multimeter and recording them onto the table. According to the data obtained in part A, this table is filled. And this graph is plotted. And in part B, these data are obtained. As a result of this experiment, I observed that distance between plates affects the capacitance and the more distance between parallel plates, the less capacitance. In other words, distance and capacitance are adversely proportional. Additionally, I also observed that the dielectric between the plates affects the capacitance. When the dielectric constant get, gets bigger, capacitance also gets bigger. In other words, more intense dielectrics placed between the plates increases the capacitance. Finally, I had error in my experiments. The possible reasons for this are equipments, experiment environment, and devices. Since I'm not able to use ideal materials and environments, the theoretical results and measured ones vary. Thanks for your time and watching.